What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel and welcome to another gig log. Today we are back at the Black River Barn in South Haven. This is getting to be one of my favorite venues. I do really, really like it here a lot. Tying into the house sound is awesome. Tonight we've got a huge setup though. We've got movers, totems, 24 uplights, salsa booth, the whole nine. So let me show you inside, show you everything we're working with today. And we gotta get set up because the uh, ceremony starts in two hours. Let's go. Alright guys, here's our giant pile of gear today. Totems, movers, 24 wireless uplights, CO2 cannon. Right on the back side of this wall is going to be photo booth. We haven't done a ceremony here yet, but ceremony site is out that way. So let me throw this camera on a tripod, do a little time lapse of this setup, and get this party started. All right, guys, this is it. Movers, uplights. I will have a monogram going. Just gotta spread the uplights up around the room, set up the photo booth, and we'll be ready to rock. All right, guys, we're out here at the ceremony site. Sorry if this is a little blown out and I'm in some shade from this tree, but we're actually gonna do two mics today. We've got the wireless handheld XWD out there and then we're also going to be using the Rode because I forgot the DJI's at home but a little interesting setup today we got two speakers normally I'd be in the back back there but because of all this highway noise back here I got one speaker here and then I've got the Mark 1 over here so we're doubling up on the battery powered JBL's today really lucky to have this battery powered setup so we don't got to run a bunch of cables but all right, guys, ceremony kicks off in about 10 minutes, so hang tight. Can you guys hear me on our bass noise? Can you hear me?
Recap time. I know this is you guys' favorite part because the views always drop off as soon as we get to the recap. I'm just kidding. Well, not really. They kind of do sometimes. Probably because I start rambling like I'm doing right now. Anyway, let's recap this one, guys. So this was a lot of work. This was a big one. Uh, huge setup, as you guys can see. 24 uplights, movers, the salsa booth, ceremony, you know, all that good stuff. Um, it went really smooth. Ceremony went awesome. Even running the two speakers and the two mics, running the, you know, the, the EWD and the road. Uh, I did forget the darn DJI mic, so I had to use the road, which is fine. I mean, they both work great. But I put the road on the groom, and then I had the handheld on mic stand for the officiant and then the mother of the bride came up and did a reading and she used the handheld on the mic stand as well worked great no problems there at all uh, i was able to really tweak things and turn it up and you know that 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 jbl mark that mark ii that en1 pro mark ii is so much better than the mark one like i'm talking like 10 times better it's 10 times louder the preamps are better everything about that that speaker is exactly what Mark One should have been, and obviously Mark Two should be an upgrade, and it 100% is. And they did a really good job with it, so I can't recommend that speaker enough. Um, it's killer. But anyway, after ceremony, we went into cocktail, all that good stuff. Um, it was really hot out during ceremony. Uh, we did introductions. It's kind of cool. The part of the introductions, the um, Bridesmaids, they iced all of the groomsmen as they were coming down, so that was kind of cool. Uh, I got one little clip of that, you know, that I posted or that I put in this video. Um, but yeah, they, they iced all of them. That was pretty neat. Dinner went great. Uh, no issues there. Speeches, parent dances, all that stuff. Everything went smooth. Open dancing, though, uh, it started to cool off outside. So about 8.30, it cooled off. We opened up the doors, that venue, the sound system is phenomenal, so you can hear all of my music outside because I tied directly into that. So they got like little mushroom speakers outside, so people were playing cornhole, they got like three fire pits um, burning that run off of uh, you know, natural gas or whatever. So those were going. A photo booth was outside, there was a bar outside, so everyone was outside, literally everyone. I had the, at one point I had the, uh, the bride's dad come up to me and he's like, hey man, I just wanna let you know, you're doing a really good job. You're playing a lot of great music, but it's just super nice outside. And that's a Michigan summer, guys. So Michigan summers are a Michigan DJ's worst enemy if you're stuck inside like that, especially if the guests have access to go outdoors. But we made it happen. Uh, a lot of the clips that you saw were from like the last hour and a half uh, of open dancing. So I did get them back in there. But for about an hour and a half, I was pretty much playing for myself, which, you know, it sucks. But I could I could look outside and I could see people dancing outside. They were dancing out by the fire pit, dancing out by the bar, using the photo booth a ton. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's not about me and the dance floor. It's about entertaining the guests, and that's exactly what we did. I had Ryan along with me to help again. Uh, he's a great DJ, so uh, you saw some clips of him mixing and stuff. Yeah, all in all, you know, very solid event. That couple, you know, they're they're a super fun, young but super fun couple. You know, I wish the best for them. You know, they got a nice little family going and all that good stuff. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about uh, the gig. So uh, we're so close to 5,000 subs, guys. We are 50 subscribers away. So if you're new around here, please subscribe. Click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. I'll catch up to you in the next one. Peace.